Hi, today I will show you how to send HTTP web requests using your mobile via SMS. For this we need some prerequisite software. I am working on Visual Studio 2010. We need some library to run 80 commands. I have chosen gsm.com. First download gsm.com from Google. Go to Google. Enter the query gsm.com to their site and download the version that is appropriate for your computer as I have already downloaded it I will just install it this library already includes a sample which shows the working of different data commands. Feel free to try it out yourself. The code provided here might be useful in your future projects. Run the sample. There are lots of things that you can do with this sample. For example, you can send SMS or you can manage phone book and so many other things. Try it out yourself, it's fun. Now, you should need a web server to which your GSM web request should be sent. I am using my Google App Engine as web server. You can also see this web server by following this URL. For now it has blank databases to which I will insert data by using my mobile GSM SMSs. I will send my SMS to the mobile and that mobile will upload the data to the, ser to the server. And you can see that data over here. Now I am going to send the data. In a moment when I will refresh this page you can see the data. The data would have been entered here. Now let's refresh the page and see if the data has been entered. Yes, you can see that the data has been entered and please remember that this data was entered by using the GSM mobile. Now let's discuss the utility that updated this server. Now I'm going to explain the C-Sharp utility code that I used to update the server. This is the GSM web updater. You can also call it as the client service which will update the web server by using the HTTP request. Here you can see there is a simple text box which will keep the log of all the events that has been happening here and it also shows the status of the phone that if it's connected or not let's see the code that generates the sms http web servers first of all you need to add the references of the library to add the references right click on, on the reference button and add reference the library should be present where you have installed the directory. Now let's understand the code. You would be able to write the code for reading the messages by using the sample code of the application. I, I myself have done that. I used the code of sample application but here I will discuss the approach which I used in updating the server I am using a timer object which will keep reading the messages whenever the message of a specific string comes it will update the server to update the server I have used a web browser which will navigate to the URL which I created by using the SMS string and this URL will enter the data in the server and that would be all from the client side. Now all you need 
is a web service on the web server that will accept this URL and extract data from it and enter it into your database. That would be all from the client side. I hope this tutorial would help. Thank you and please send suggestions to the email addresses provided in the suggestion box.